This is Hillheads Park, home to Northern League Division One club, Whitley Bay FC. Hello, my name is Richard and this is Grassroots Football Journeys. In this episode, we're going to look at the most successful club in the history of the FA Vars. This is the story of Whitley Bay FC. <music> Whitley Bay, or Whitley as it was originally known, is a seaside town in North Tyneside. Originally in Northumberland, it became part of Tyne and Weir in 1974. The town can be traced back as far as 1100, and from the 18th century it was well known for its coal mining and limestone quarrying industries. In the late 19th century, the town emerged as a seaside holiday resort, and in 1901, its name was changed to Whitley Bay to avoid confusion with Whitby in North Yorkshire. The town is home to Whitley Bay Warriors Ice Hockey Club who were formed in 1957 as Whitley Bay Bees, changing their name to Whitley Bay Warriors in 1964. Their home is here at the Whitley Bay Ice Rink and they currently play in a third tier of the British Ice Hockey League. Whitley Bay Rockcliffe Rugby Club also play in the town here at Low Vane Avenue. They were formed in 1887 and currently play in the Durham Northumberland League One. Famous former residents of Whitley Bay include news reporter Kate Aidy, footballer Michael Bridges and pop singer Sam Fender. Football was first played in the town in 1896 with the formation of Whitley and Monk Seaton FC who later became known as Monk Seaton FC. They originally played here at West Park in Monk Seaton on what was then open farmland but is now this new housing development at the back of Sainsbury's. In around 1950 the club moved here to Hillheads Park and changed its name to Whitley Bay Athletic while in 1958 a limited company was formed and Athletic was dropped from the name. From 1950 to 1958 the club played in the Northern Alliance League winning the league title once and the League Cup twice while in 1953 they became the first amateur club for 60 years to win the Northumberland Senior Cup. Whitley Bay FC were elected to the Northern League in 1958, winning the league in 1965 and 1966. They also won the League Cup in 1966 and 1971 and won the Northumberland Senior Cup eight times between 1961 and 1973. The club did suffer a decline during the 1970s and in 1980 they finished bottom of the Northern League for the first time. Things did improve and in 1986 they won another Northumberland Senior Cup, while in 1988 they left the Northern League after 30 years to join the Northern Premier League Division 1. In 1990 Whitley Bay enjoyed their best ever run in the FA Cup beating both Scarborough and Preston North End before eventually losing 1-0 to Rochdale in the first round. The following year Whitley Bay won promotion to the Northern Premier League Premier Division and in 1994 they finished in their highest ever position of 11th. However the following year Whitley Bay suffered relegation back to the Northern Premier League Division 1 and in 2000 they dropped back into the Northern League after a 12 year absence. In 2001, the club won the FA Vars for the first time, beating Tiptree United in the final at Villa Park, while in 2005 they won their first Northumberland Senior Cup for 18 years. This was followed by their third Northern League title in 2007, while triple Wembley glory was just around the corner. Whitley Bay won their second FA Vars in 2009, beating Glossop North End at Wembley and they would retain the trophy in both 2010 and 2011 to become the most successful club in the history of the competition. Whitley Bay also won another Northumberland Senior Cup in 2010 to establish themselves as one of the biggest names in North East non-league football. And while the successes didn't last, the club did finish fourth in the Northern League Division 1 at the end of the 2022-2023 season and they currently sit in fifth place. The ground here at Hillheads Park was redeveloped in the 1960s. The main stand was built in 1963 while the Seahall Social Club opened in 1966. 
Meanwhile, floodlights were fitted in 1968, while in 1989 the terracing around the ground was concreted. The record attendance here at Hillhead Park was 7,301 for an FA Amateur Cup site against Hendon in 1965, but the capacity has since been reduced to 4,500. So this has been the story of Whitley Bay FC, the small northeast club who have won the FA Vars more than anyone else. My name is Richard and this has been Grassroots Football Journeys. If you have enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and why not consider subscribing to the channel? As well as these great little football documentaries, we also bring you grassroots football highlights, various vlogs and of course some great drone footage. So that's all we've got time for this week. Thanks for watching and don't forget to stay tuned for some bonus drone footage to follow. Keep the sky on your mind